So I'm Becky, I work in Foils Bristol um, and I'm a bookseller. The book I'm recommending is Jackie Kay's Trumpet, um, which is about this legendary trumpet player, but he's not really the protagonist, who is uncovered as being biologically female when they die. Um, and the book then follows the process of mourning and kind of his wife, who runs away to Scotland to kind of deal with it because no one treats her like a normal um, widow and everyone's focused on the you know, fact of this person's biological gender. He's only uncovered as biologically female um, when he dies because he's undressed. Like it's very much about being uncovered and being shown. Um, there is this kind of sense of creation and death and life. It all comes together in this sort of neat little bundle. It's very important, that kind of sense of creating himself and Joss becomes that kind of symbol of all these things where he creates himself and he creates himself as, yeah, creation. That's why it's neat. It's like a neat package of this kind of all these things put together in this one person who then dies. I first came upon it because I'm off to do a master's soon and it was featured on one of the courses of a book you should read um, and then I looked into it and thought, saw that uh, it was had an introduction by Ali Smith um, who is one of my all-time favourite writers um, and then just read it that way so really came to it because I was told to read it and then just happy coincidence that I loved it and thought it was really just beautiful and fantastic so I wasn't very aware of Jackie Kay before I read this book um, she'd never written a novel before she'd um, mostly only done poetry or short stories it's very lyrical at times and it's she's very um, she's very sure of like words she uses so she's very confident and she's very particular about words particularly obviously pronouns in the book are very important um, and repetition so there's a certain like and also because it's a, music, a book about music the music kind of runs through it um, so it does come across in the sense that she's a poet and it's very lyrical and very beautiful and very rhythmic um, and also in that kind of like very particular sense of she knows what she wants to say and she'll use a, a word that will just cut to the point like particularly in scenes where with pronouns are important every time someone refers to Joss as a female or as she it like it's like a punch you can feel it so it is very very lyrical in that sense and very poetic in her use of language but it works as a novel just because of the subject matter I think.